almost there. We've walked at least 10 miles already. I need a break. Well, we're still a couple miles from the meetup point. Well, Bo's not going to be there yet. And I'm in dire need of some coffee and food. <sighs> You always complain this much? I guess being a fugitive and sleeping in a stolen car brought it out in me. At least you slept. I did not. You had the whole back seat to stretch out in. I still didn't sleep. You snored. I did not! Oh, yeah, you did. It wasn't like Piglet snoring. You were definitely snoring. I do not snore. Okay, Twinkle, whatever you say. Can you let me borrow your phone? Thank you. Can't wait for tonight when I'm in a real bed with the man that I love. Hello? Hey, Mom. Stop, Manny! Where are you? I'm really close. How's Hope doing? Um, I know that her back molar was growing and didn't grow in yet because she was really fussing with the last one and she wasn't able to sleep. Well, why don't you come home and see for yourself? I will. Soon. You know, your father has sent some men out to look for you. Why, why would he do that? I, I called. Well, I think, you know, the stolen car thing kind of threw us both off. I didn't exactly steal it. Yeah. Well, that's what we told the dealer. Otherwise, you'd have a lot of cops on your tail right now. I'll explain everything later. Including the boy? Who? The one that you stole the car with. The one that isn't Cole. Oh, he's nobody. Look, Mom, please, you have to trust me on this, okay? I'll tell you everything tomorrow. Just please tell Hope that I miss her so much and I love her and I'll see you soon. Star Manning. Okay, bye, Mom. I love you. I... What? He's nobody. Oh, come on. What was I supposed to say? He's a car thief who stole $50,000 and kidnapped me? Ex-car thief. Never mind. Look, apparently, my dad has someone looking for us, and I just wanted to calm them down. I didn't literally mean nobody. I get it. You got people who love you, you don't want to scare them. Yeah. Fruit and yogurt? Oh, thank you. And the lemon drink. You call that just grabbing a bite? For all I know, this could be the last meal that I eat. Okay, well, we have to leave here soon. We don't want to keep Bull waiting. Well, you don't have to worry about that, though. Just been a change of plans. Well, the sooner we meet up with Bull, the better. I'll take care of it, and you're not coming with me. Oh, you did not just tell me what to do. Star, you have people to go home to, and I'm gonna see that you do. What if Bull doesn't agree? Yeah, things could get ugly. I mean, he is expecting 50 Gs in cash. I wish that everything turned out with that car. It would have made things so much easier. Well, whatever, I can turn that much cash around for Bull, for my dad, in just a couple months jacking cars. But then he should be happy. Yeah, unless he doesn't like the deal. And when he gets mad, there's no telling what he'll do. That's why I don't want you anymore near there. If I didn't know any better, I would think that you cared. Star, you didn't ask for any of this. I dragged you into it. Not the car part. That was all my idea. Come on, you wouldn't steal a car on your own. You wouldn't even leave the people you love. Well, it wasn't exactly stealing. It's too bad you wrecked it. You're the bleeding heart who didn't want to run over a small animal. You were the one who was driving. Which was why it was a bad idea for you to grab the wheel. You're the carjacker. You're supposed to be good at invasive maneuvers. Oh, I gotta go. Oh. Okay. No, I got it. All right, I'll take it. Hey, how will I know? What? That bull took the deal and you're okay. You won't see my corpse on the 10 o'clock news. That's not funny. I don't know. Bull will probably take me right back to Ohio and put me to work. But I'll try and call you to make sure that you know you're safe. What if you try but you can't? What if you're in trouble and you can't get in touch with me? Please start. You expect to just go off and leave me here? For now, yeah. I'm sorry. 
That doesn't work for me. I don't know what's going on with Star. Star's for your own good. Yeah, right. How do I know that you're not just going to leave and run? That wouldn't stop, Bull. You're right, it wouldn't. Because that would still leave me sitting here easy to find if he wanted revenge. You really think that I would leave you holding the bag? Star, I'm trying to protect you. How will I know that you're not hurt, that everything went okay? I'll come back. When? An hour after the meeting, okay? And if I'm not back by then, that means Bull didn't go for the plan. And then you need to call that police commissioner you know. That's a lousy plan. What's wrong with it? You want to meet up with me an hour after the meeting? By then, Bull can do whatever he wants with you and still have plenty of time to come after me. Okay, half an hour. You might not have enough time to go there and then come back. Do you seriously want to fight over 15 or 20 minutes? We don't know how long this is going to take. What's the matter with you? Well, you suddenly don't want me around anymore? You've got a baby and a mom and... And a boyfriend. Yeah. None of that has changed since day one. So I heard it, okay? I heard you. And you need to stay safe for them. You're right. I need to make sure that they're safe. And when I go home, I need to know that this is over, so I am coming with you. Look, we're wasting time. Okay, then let's go. No, I will not put you in the line of fire, and that's final. Well, I am not going to sit here and wait, and that's final. You're such a...